Put your hands together on your heart. Raise them high above your head and repeat after me. To the Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, thank you for your priceless blessings, for divine light, divine love, divine guidance, divine love, mercy, inner healing, physical healing. Thank you for the inner strength to practice regularly. Thank you for the divine help and protection, for illumination, for abundance and prosperity. Thank you. Lower your hands slightly. Silently say to Master Chua Koksui, Lord Bodhisattva Meiling, all the great great ones, holy gurus, holy masters, holy angels, spiritual helpers, and to my heart soul, thank you all for your priceless blessings. Put your hands on the crown with gratitude. Take a deep breath. Put your hands on the asana with respect. Thank you. Put your hands on your heart with love. Thank you in full faith. Silently repeat after me. I am that I am. I am not the body. I am not the emotions. I am not the thoughts. I am not the mind. The mind is just an instrument of the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence, divine love, and divine power. I am connected and one with my higher soul. I am that I am. I am a child of God, connected with God, one with God and one with all. This is the truth, regardless of the capacity of the brain to experience the truth. Om Gam Ganapatai Nama Salutations to Lord Ganesh, the remover of obstacles. Let Sri Ganesh blessings make this attempt of mine useful to human beings with respect to introduction to Jyotish. At the outset, I would like to say that I am attempting to introduce Jyotish Vidya perspective to those who are interested in the subject, not only from a learner's view, but also for those who seek to benefit from the light that Jyotish Vidya can throw upon their lives to enlighten it. The perspective that I am going to share in this presentation are my own. However, I wholeheartedly thank many of the sources, gurus who have helped me tremendously in my journey and I would like to specifically thank my Guru Shri Prem Raj Shakun, who is from Delhi, Shri Pivian Narsim Rao, whose knowledge and Jehora software has helped me tremendously, and Shri Mati Barbara Pijan Lama, whose website has a unique perspective on astrology with respect to modern lives. So first, let us look at the link between Jyotish and humans. Why is it that the subject of Jyotish is applicable to human beings? So the first point is that humans are creative beings of this universe. And the word creative is to be highlighted. So each human being 
is creating a reality for herself or himself and in turn experience that reality that own creation that the person has created now how do we say that this reality which has been created is seen or heard or felt or experienced in a life so this mechanism is similar to how we look at ourselves in a mirror the mirror essentially reflects what we actually are so in the same way the universe or the reality which we experience is a reflection of who we truly are or what we have created in terms of thinking in terms of actions in terms of attitude emotions etc because a human being is multidimensional right from matter to the highest uh, spirit we have a combination of various layers of uh, stuff i would say which we are made of so as a result it is like a projector projecting a real life moving 3d image or motion which we are then able to see around us and in this we are not usually aware that whatever is being experienced by us is actually of our own creation so in a sense it is a true drama or a true movie where we don't realize that we are in a movie and the good part is that it is all created by the self because typically jyotish in its current mass perspective appears to be like a punishment or like a fixed destiny luck there are so many names of the fixed nature of uh, destiny which is wrong fully associated with jyotish vidya so basically what we experience is our own creation reflected back at us so this is how i see the link between jyotish and human beings now why this science this technology called jyotish exists so in my humble opinion it is a divine tool to measure one's progress because the universe is infinite there are infinite experiences there are infinite goals there are infinite challenges there are infinite highs and there are infinite lows so as per as per one's choice one finds himself or herself in a particular location in space and time and because one has traveled so much throughout the universe across various lives or even in one life jyotish is a navigation tool like a gps which helps the self or the soul to see where it is currently situated and where it is coming from so immediately i would like to address uh, the question to my audience as to why even get into jyotish vidya because often we see that people who are extremely chronically troubled enter end up into a jyotishi's domain but i think uh, the science is much more deeper and much more satisfying than this and there need not be any crisis for one to appreciate the beauty of jyotish vidya so i think the first benefit that one can derive from getting close to this vidya is to know that one is very very unique in the universe because at the most minute and granular level no two birth charts are the same even for that matter twins also have separate divisional charts so it is an it is a kind of a reassurance to oneself that it is 
very very graceful on part of the nature or divine to have created you uniquely and therefore the will to live and to the will to fulfill your uh, natural development path is your birthright the second is that instead of feeling lost with randomness which we are constantly bombarded with we see that there's a pattern and in fact this the pattern is so beautiful and so intricate that you are connected to your uh, near and dear ones your profession your interests your dislikes your challenges so intricately that you see that it is not random so gradually as your consciousness progresses you see that it is a miracle to be part of a pattern which extends limitlessly into the entire universe third i think is to see that the coherence and beauty in all events and not to take them as crises which most of us fear and uh, every experience is here to teach us something and in my opinion every experience is chosen by the self to drive home a lesson fourth point is even in this present life which we can remember let's say from 5 or 6 years of age to whatever present age we are in we have various goals material goals spiritual goals relationship goals health goals now there is needed a honest understanding of your strength and weaknesses to navigate these goals be it spiritual goals be it material goals it all depends on the person's choice but whatever be the nature of the goal knowing your strengths and weaknesses and to strengthen your weaknesses or to strengthen your strengths is enabled or is supported by jyotish vidya the fifth point is that life is not hopeless in fact what we call life is a marker on a continuous scale so the scale runs continuously we remember let's say from age 5 to where we are presently and we unknowingly fear what is going to happen after let's say what we call as death will we get eliminated what will happen to our uh successors there a lot of worry in the mind so jyotish tells you that everything which is happening has a pattern has a reason has a beauty has divine grace behind it so there is nothing to worry about as such what we should rather worry about is how we are acting when we are conscious how we treat others how we treat ourselves are we going to harsh to ruthless to drive our goals or are we balanced so once we take care of the present and we know that jyotish vidya assures us of life before and after this present memory this present incarnation we are much more relaxed and peaceful and in that peace we can explore the universe the beauty of nature more and last but not the least jyotish vidya's sincere study helps one avoid superstition i understand that many of you would not agree with this immediately but jyotish vidya is not primarily to have your superstition supported in fact if you are very fearful if you are very anxious if you are very greedy if you are very angry when you are approaching jyotish vidya probably in my opinion the science is such that it will not give you the right direction so it does not want you to be carrying a lot of anxiety or to carry a lot of uh, 
negative so called negative uh, energies and i think when jyotish vidya is approached in a more positive fashion which does not harm others which does not harm yourself then the true beauty of jyotish vidya comes out uh a question which i added here is courtesy shrimati radha gupta ji who asked me to throw some uh, light on this to the extent i know that how is a trained jyotishi able to see what is happening or what is going to happen or what has happened in the life of a person so basically there are many theories about it some some learned people say that planets are basically giving you what you have uh you what you have corrected go, committed wrong and committed right uh, they grab hold of you etc but i do not believe in a punishing universe what i think is that these are all choices which the soul or the self makes in accordance with its own likings its dislikes its preferences like in the present lives we have liking for food we have dislike for certain food we have liking for certain food we have liking for certain people we have dislike for other kind of people similarly we have likes and dislikes inbuilt into the entity and because this entity is essentially eternal it likes to travel across the universe like we like to travel to various cities to various amusements to parks to gardens to historical places similarly the entity on a higher scale is also doing the same thing and with every transaction that the entity undertakes with itself or the persons around or the other selves or with physical objects or with natural objects those transactions are getting recorded not for tracking this entity which is the negative aspect of it but to aid the entity recall these in times of need and according to the development goals of the self for example suppose there is a inbuilt uh, enlightenment with respect to helping others so for example an entity or a soul or a self is quite inclined to help others now because of this helping others this act of benevolence is recorded in the akashic memory records now for example if in another domain for example financial domain let's say this entity is not so skilled and it gets stuck in a problematic challenge which is not it is not able to solve as per its current skills then there is a system in this akashic memory records to get credit for the other things that the soul has done where it was much stronger and able compared to the weakness weak areas such as finance and money so this kind of exchange this kind of credit system we already also see in our current society for example someone could be a tailor a very good fashion designer and uh, that person can make others happy by giving them very good designs very good dresses which the other so called customers are looking for and it is doing its job in total bliss and the same person who is so skilled in this activity may be totally unskilled or ignorant in some other activity let's say treating the spouse so if the person is ready to accept responsibility and to move on with a better skill set in dealing with the spouse then it is possible that the credit which this person has gained through other actions can be transferred to the areas of weakness 
because the ultimate goal of this system is for developing of each and every entity so if the entity wants to develop it, it if it gives itself the permission then there are mechanisms available which we can all term under the uh, term grace and there is always a solution and as you would have known that this vidya is very ancient so very few ancient technologies and sciences have actually reached us in this 2021 uh, year but this is one skill which has one i mean science which has really stayed with the human society in various forms definitely it has diluted its uh, applicability because of the nature of the practice and knowledge in present times but nevertheless the essence the possibility of getting benefited spiritually from this vidya has stood the test of time and basically a jyotishi is able to interpret patterns in the sky with respect to the materialized experiences which the self has chosen to experience for its own development in the present lifetime i hope uh, i am able to answer shrimati radha gupta's query in this slide so in a nutshell jyotish vidya is a science it is an extensive science it includes astronomy it includes uh, inventory of knowledge it includes rules very very extensive rules it includes calculations to the tune of seconds uh, but at the same time it is also an art because if you approach it totally from a science perspective then there is no difference in what the modern science treats nature as compared to how a jyotishi or a skilled jyotishi or a uh, true jyotishi would see this vidya because science can typically be misused and i think without adding the angle of art where you see the beauty and harmony along with mathematics is essential for balance in human beings and in nature in general and the third value which i personally attribute to jyotish the most is that it is a way to realize the true nature of the self it is a very very solid tool for uncovering the true nature of the self that is what i have personally benefited the most from and i think gradually to see the bigger picture to see that there is divine in everyone there is a pattern there is a beauty there is grace all around along with the challenges is to appreciate the true nature of this creation and i think jyotish vidya can help you with that as well now i would like to address a very popular belief about jyotish uh, vidya is that whatever is there in the horoscope it becomes what is called as destiny and hence there is no point in doing anything or to change or to become a better person than what is being interpreted by the jyotishi or being captured in the chart so this is totally the opposite of what jyotish vidya is all about so jyotish vidya is not about telling a person or a human being that look this is what i have uh, given you as your destiny and therefore now whatever you do this is what your destiny is good or bad so this is not the purpose of jyotish jyotish is basically about navigating your self in this vast universe now suppose by the basis of your virtuous acts you have a lot of credit in the system would you like to spend the other next 70 to 90 years just eating up on your credit or would you want to further that strength which you has which you have in terms of 
utilizing your time utilizing your skills utilizing your effort to even excel more or would you like to just lazy around saying that okay now i have so many lakh rupees in my bank account now I, now i will not do anything for example if you look at many uh, mature entrepreneurs they keep on working till 70 80 also they never say oh now i'm going to retire i made a million bucks or a billion bucks they always say that okay whatever i'm good at let me do it let me do it better let me train others let me scale it let me do some uh, philanthropy so all these things are natural so jyotish vidya is not denying you that you can't do anything in fact it is motivating you that this is where you have reached this is at you are at this stage and it is because of your efforts that you have reached here so now do a better job at it so jyotish vidya confirms that you are on the right path it does not say that now you relax so this is i think a major major confusion or a misinterpretation of the current times and absolutely not this is not true you have the you are the one who has created your so called destiny destiny basically means destination so destination basically means that this is where you wanted to go and this is where you wanted to land and this is what you did to land here now it doesn't mean that you can't change your destination you are changing your destination all the time so jyotish vidya is a navigation tool which you use to find the best course to your destination and there is no final destination uh, now suppose some of you want to learn jyotish vidya or you have already started and you want to uh, have some inputs on how to proceed about it i think the first uh, point i would like to emphasize on is that though jyotish vidya involves time and hard work but at the same time never fall in the trap of treating it as a superstition or to increase your belief in superstition basically superstition word can be broken into superstition superstition means that the power of your life lies outside you so superstitious basically means that you think that other things are impacting you and you are powerless but my conviction after my study of jyotish is that it is the other way jyotish vidya if studied in the right sense is telling you the opposite that you are the creator and there is no power outside you so i would say that instead of going towards superstition and the negative uh, connotation of the word destiny i would seriously request you to have faith in the creation faith in nature and faith in the fact that this nature is simultaneously nourishing countless beings right from invisible beings to ants to all forms of animals plants even clouds water mountains humans so all of them are getting nourished simultaneously you can't even believe what kind of resources are required to run this beautiful pattern so as a humble participant i would request that instead of going towards superstition go towards faith in the creation and see that this is totally blissful and remember that it takes regular work and time to gain this ancient knowledge because if something has so much depth to it with the limited knowledge and with limited time and limited access to true gurus we have to actually spend uh, a lot of time and be patient when this vidya will be revealed to us or when we can honestly and genuinely claim that we are some knowledgeable uh, student of jyotish vidya and i would also like to say that 
the whole domain of making predictions about others is not beneficial see we are using this vidya to help others to help them change their beliefs if they are not fruitful for the person to change their thoughts to change their attitudes to change how they treat others and how they treat themselves so if we are making predictions we are probably using the the easiest 1% value which jyotish vidya is bringing to us so instead of making predictions we should focus on suggesting ourselves and others behavior improvements which includes inner behavior of how we think how we treat others how we uh, how we handle emotions how we value our emotions how we value our thoughts and also external behavior how we treat others and i think this is the way i approach jyotish vidya coming to an essential toolkit i think uh, presently the suggested way is to go for a software which can plot uh, the charts you should definitely try to understand the logic behind the calculations but at the present there are so many options and in this technology uh, era that go doing the calculation yourself doesn't seem practical then you need to be aware of the basics of out the personality of the entities in the sky the planets their nature what do they prefer how is their style and what kind of things they like to deal in just like a person you see around they are also the essence of uh, many persons or many kinds of powers and many kinds of essence in the universe so the hold on this is very important similarly i would like you to treat rashis and then bhavs uh, this is the beginners uh, list i think and also look at the available birth data records which you can access probably celebrities or public figures or your friends and family so i hope this was useful i really hope that this will help you move into the sacred space called jyotish